is Roscoe's first groom. Roscoe is a Shih Tzu puppy and he is only almost 12 weeks old, so almost three months old. Now, this is his first groom, so I'm so excited, guys, to bring this to you. It's all right, and when we work with puppies, boy, we have to take our time because they don't understand the grooming process, so we have to help them. We have to earn their trust, and boy, are you beautiful. Now, it's nice to get them in at this age because at three months old, Roscoe doesn't require a lot of trimming. So that's awesome because we're slowly going to wean him into the grooming process. As he ages, his grooming becomes more and more involved. There will be more steps to the groom, but for now, being a little baby puppy, his groom is only going to take me about an hour and that's all that he's going to have to tolerate today but as he's tolerating his first groom he's learning how to be handled on the grooming table he's learning how to accept grooming tools like combs and brushes and clippers nail trimming so we're slowly weaning him into the process. Now, what are we gonna be doing for a puppy trim like this? Well, today I'm just going to be trimming around his eyes, a little bit around his face, not much, with a scissors and a thinning shear. We are going to trim out these little paw pads. As you can see, they have a lot of hair in them. I'm gonna trim his paw pads and I'm gonna scissor the feet. He's gonna get a good bath too. Trimming around his hiney and cleaning that up for him. Everything else for a puppy groom is just simply light trimming, bathing, and brushing. So it's just going to ease him into the process. So the first thing that I'm going to do is gently brush him out. Just gently. Now he is used to being brushed at home, but he's not used to being brushed at a grooming salon. So this is a new experience for Roscoe. Yes, See, I'm not used to being on a grooming lead. I have to learn all that, but I have to learn that it's okay. And see, I have my hands on him, guys. I'm helping him. I'm keeping my hands on him to let him know that we're in this together. And I already took a few minutes before we got up on the grooming table to bond with him a little and let him know how much I love him. Yeah, I let you know that I just love you. You know, it's a process. This is his first groom and I am so glad to bring this to you guys because many of you have been asking me to do a Shih Tzu puppy trim. So that's what we're doing today, guys. It's okay, big boy Roscoe. He is gorgeous, isn't he? So I'm just lightly brushing him. Puppies brush out so easily. After I get him all brushed out, we're gonna go right into the tub. So I will meet you there with Roscoe. Now we have Roscoe in the tub. We have him on a safe tub harness. This is the one that I made, and I have a tutorial on that on my channel, so I'll link it in the description above. I have just filled up some of my TropiClean hypoallergenic puppy shampoo in this little bowl and diluted it with some warm water and I'm going to use a loofah to wash this beautiful little guy because he's a baby I want to take it easy on him the first time and I didn't say take it easy on him I want to take it easy on all the dogs that I groom but let's just remember this is all new to him so we're giving him more of a little bit of a pampered experience today you know, and I probably will the next groom as well. I'm going to ease him into grooming slowly. I think that is such a key factor with working with any puppy or dog and teaching them about the grooming process. Let's not throw him in and expect the groom to be an extensive, crazy groom. And as pet owners, guys, don't take your puppy to a groomer when they're seven months old and expect that's going to be acceptable for your pet because they're gonna be scared out of their mind. We have to teach them slowly in little sessions that grooming is part of their life and that they can do it and they're safe and that it's nothing to fear. And when you slowly work them into adding grooming as part of their lives, but consistently, 
they will accept it and they will learn to be absolutely fine with it because it's part of their life. Overly rinsing Roscoe's coat. I'm being very careful about his ears. I am going to save his face and his head for last because I know that that tends to get puppies a little upset. So we're going to just pamper this little guy for a few minutes, wash his body and his legs and all those areas before we start washing his face and his head. So he's wet now, I'm gonna turn the water off. Boy, isn't he cute. So we get our loofah, we dip it in our puppy shampoo, nice and warm, and he had little dirty feetsies. Little dirty feetsies, oh yes. But he's gonna be a beautiful boy today, right Roscoe? Of course you are. You're gonna be clean and then you get to go home and take a big old nap. Yeah, you can sniff me if you want to. So I'm washing these pads really good, guys. Everything, but I'm taking my time with him. That's the important thing with puppies. We take our time and we teach them that it's a time that we spend together, but it's all okay. It's all okay, yes. We're gonna turn our little boy around. I really like these tub leashes because they don't pull on dogs, especially puppies. He's got a lot of play in this leash, as you can see, but yet he cannot slip out of it and it keeps him safely secured in the tub. That's the important thing. Wash every little part of Roscoe and get him nice and lathered up and let that, let that shampoo get in there and sit for a minute or two because it, you know, what it does is it loosens up any dander or dirt in the coat. And when we rinse him, it's just going to rinse right off. You know, let the shampoo do its job, which is to bake off that yucky stuff off their coat and their skin. Right? Yes. He says that's right. So he's wonderful, guys. This is his first groom, remember? He's doing absolutely wonderful. I couldn't ask him to be any better because he has no idea why he's here today <laughs> and what we're doing, and he doesn't have any idea who I am. Most importantly, we have to bond together, Roscoe. Yes. Yes, we will, trust me. He has a brother as well named Riley, and he's a Shih Tzu. So he's got, he's got a wonderful life. He's got a buddy. His mom and dad take good care of him. They take him to the groomer. They wash and brush him at home. They play all the time. Yeah, life is good. So another reason why I like this shampoo not just for puppies. The hypoallergenic by Tropiclean is safe around their eyes too, as well. You know I always use facial scrubs. This shampoo definitely mimics a facial scrub. It's very gentle and it's very safe. So I like it. Obviously it's effective, it cleans them very well. You can see how well it's cleaning this little guy. And as soon as you see him when he's all done, you'll know what I'm talking about. He will be beautiful. I'm going to gently start rinsing on low stream his face. And we gotta be real careful. We know all dogs, we have to be careful around the nose. But this little guy in particular, he has a Shih Tzu nose. It's okay, baby. Which we know Shih Tzu noses, they have trouble with their breathing as it is because they have such a smushy face. So we need to protect that in the bath. Good boy, Roscoe. And just use this puppy shampoo on Roscoe. I am not gonna get it in his nose, but I can get it around his eyes. It is safe, it does not burn, which is very important when you're choosing products to use on your pets, that you understand the safety of them and if they're safe for your pet and what is not safe for your pet. And see, he's not gonna like me clean in here, but let me tell you guys, it's very important that we do, okay? And he'll learn to accept it. He certainly will. And he's doing wonderful. I know, honey. I know. He absolutely is doing wonderful. 
Good job, big boy. And just using that loofah just helps to slough things off. Yeah, let's get this, this little. You know what's nice about Roscoe? He doesn't have a super deep wrinkle here like most Shih Tzus do. So that's going to be in his favor for not having such compromised breathing as he ages. I'm not getting any water in his ears, but I am washing his ears and I will be cleaning the ears after the bath with ear cleaning solution made for puppies and dogs so that I can ensure that if any water did get in there, I'm going to be killing any bacteria or any problems from it with that ear cleaning solution. It does kill bacteria, but it's not harsh. I'm going to split this tutorial into two parts. The first part is bathing and drying, and the second part is going to be his trim. So that'll be coming for you next week, guys. So stay put, right? Stay put, people. We're going to see my hair Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is condition him. So I'm going to lightly rinse some of this off. I don't need to thoroughly rinse the shampoo off before I condition him. If I wasn't conditioning him, I would be thoroughly rinsing it. But we are going to condition him. You guys know that I condition every pet. So I'm going to avoid his face right now. And we're just going to keep moving that. Good boy. I will be rinsing his face in a moment. I'm just getting him used to the water again, you know? This whole process for puppies is a learning experience. And he's doing fabulous. And he's so beautiful and he's so clean. I can feel how good his skin and coat feels already, guys. Holding that ear down, we're gonna rinse off the ear and the other ear, same thing. Now I pre-mixed some conditioner here in a mixing bottle and we're gonna condition Roscoe. Oh, that feels nice. It feels like silk. <laughs> At this point, Roscoe's thinking, how do I get out of here? <laughs> That's okay, baby. I'm right here with you. Okay, so I applied some conditioner to him and I'm gonna massage it through his skin and coat. Good boy, Roscoe. I know you don't like it, baby. You're doing absolutely wonderful. Oh, yes, you are. You're doing wonderful. I let this sit on them for about three to five minutes, guys, and then I will thoroughly rinse his skin and coat and he's ready to get out of the tub and we will be drying him. And remember when we wash our pets, guys, we only use the water, the water temperature should always be just lukewarm to cool water. We don't want to use hot water on our dogs, our puppies or anything because it opens up the pores and water has bacteria in it. So if there was any issues or if your puppy had any type of compromised immune system that you're unaware of, it could invite skin infection into their bloodstream through the skin. I hate to be so morbid sometimes and tell you such, such crazy things, but at the same time, I think it's important to explain those things. And we are going to be doing a really amazing demo in the next couple weeks about the dangers of bathing. There are some dangers that you guys are unaware of and I cannot wait. I'm working hard on that content and I'm not releasing it until it's absolutely perfect. It's got every little element of information that I wanna share with you guys baked into that tutorial because I, I, need, I need to make sure it's right. Okay, now I just gotta rinse that face. I know you don't like it. Boy, you did good on that, yeah. See, we just take the take our time with the face, guys. Cover the nose, rinse the face. Okay, good. We're stopping on that. Good. See, just little intervals. He'll tolerate it, but he's not going to tolerate me standing here and just holding that water stream on him. I have to do it in intervals. Little quick little. Good boy. Remember, guys, this is training for him. He's learning about being in a grooming salon. He's learning about getting a bath in a grooming salon and he's also learning to trust me. See, I'm learning to trust my groomer right now too, guys. And it doesn't happen overnight. 
but it will happen. Right, Roscoe? It sure will. Oh, I see many good demos coming with this little guy. He's going to be awesome for demoing. And you really want them to feel like you're in this together. I try to always keep my hands on him, meaning that I'm with him in this. He's not alone. It's not him and the water sprayer. It's me, Roscoe, and the water sprayer. Yeah, we're in this together. That's very important. You're building trust and bonding with your puppy. Even if it's not your dog, you're bonding with them. Trust me. It's a wonderful thing. And when I see that there is absolutely no residue or bubbles or anything coming off of Roscoe, then I know that he's rinsed thoroughly. Let's give him that head one more rinse. I know that's not your favorite. I'm here for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm here for you. Okay, we're good. We're done with that, okay? All right, turning the water off. Roscoe and I will see you on the grooming table where we're gonna fluff dry Roscoe. Good job. Okay, guys, I have my stand dryer warming up and we have Roscoe positioned on the table. I have a cotton ball with my ear cleaning solution soaked in it and I'm just going to wipe anything in as far as I can see into Roscoe's ears. I'm just wiping and releasing some of that ear cleaning solution down into his ear canal. That's how I have him positioned so he cannot fall off the table with, with this groomer's helper grooming loop. It's hooked here to him as well. And I'm going to slowly aim that air towards him with my stand dryer to get him used to the stand dryer. It's a little noisy and we all know that puppies and dogs, their hearing is much more intense than ours. I really would like him to learn to stand on the table like a big boy. Yes. So that he knows he's okay. Good, Roscoe. He's so beautiful, my little guy. He's doing good, guys. He's just, this is normal. He's, he's learning to accept it, and I'm trying to keep him from becoming upset about it. Because I don't want him to, to think that he should fear grooming for any reason whatsoever. Because I'm here with you, Roscoe. Remember, I'm right here with you. Good job. Let's trim Roscoe's little nails. They are just sharp little baby nails. We're just trimming off the little, the little hook. Good job, baby. And he does not have a dew claw. And now, basically, I am just going to keep moving that air in different directions and combing Roscoe until he dries, which it's okay, big boy won't take too long guys because he's got puppy coat and puppy coat dries rather quickly so you can see how beautifully he's coming along here how nice and fluffed out he is good job Roscoe and like I said guys I can't expect him to accept grooming right now he's accepting it in doses and that's the idea of starting with them when they're younger. So this is how we'll dry him and I will show you in a few minutes what he looks like when he's all dry. Now you see he just stood up on the table. He got a little more confidence. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now he's going back down and protecting himself. I'm going to move the air a little bit. Maybe that'll make him feel better. If I can get him to stand especially if I can have him do it on his own. That tells me that he's getting confidence about being up on this grooming table, and that's what I want for Roscoe. I want him to be confident and accept it and not fear it. And we're getting there. So I'll see you in a minute, and we'll show you Roscoe all fluffed out. Hey 
friends, smash that like button if you think Roscoe is just the cutest little puppy you ever saw. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you might like this video. Thank you for watching.